they be like what it be like like you already know what it is it's your boy calvin like my way been a while since i dropped the video but today i really just gotta do something for my people right okay so granted we are still dealing with a global pandemic uh civil unrest uh racial tensions uh police brutality uh election year you know and and it's kind of chaotic right we dealing with COVID-19 people being taken out of work people getting sick and not come, can't come in to work people losing jobs things are kind of crazy 2020 vision uh looking kind of cloudy right but um the big note the big fact the 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 item I want to talk about today is prophecy. Okay. First thing before I even start, one thing that Jesus said in the New Testament, and it's been true, a prophet is never honored in his own land. Example, I had a dream a while back, about 10 years ago to be exact. When I had this dream, I shared it with some family members. Uh, not going to go into great detail about it, but it talked about a lot of what's going on. Civil unrest, uh, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, doing this dream, it inspired me. I got a message from God, not going to say, oh, God told me, God showed me. But I felt that I received a message and I began to prepare myself because in the scripture, there has been many times where people have received dreams, messages, and then they prepared. You know, they were warned and then they prepared. All right, so when I had this dream, I shared it with some friends, family, my wife. Uh, she shared it with some other folks. And a lot of niggas thought I was crazy. Excuse my language, right? A lot of cats thought I was crazy. I didn't care. First thing I hear a lot of people saying, oh my God, why, why, you, I can't believe you with this dude. He, he, he out here buying guns. We ain't never been, why you doing this? Why you doing that, right? Taking a stride, keep it moving. I don't care what people think about me. Matter of fact, I got a survey on the phone the other day, right? People were asking about electric cars. And then all these questions were like, what, what would you, what do you think people would think? I said, I don't give a damn what people think. I've lived my life 34 years and I ain't gave a damn about what anybody ever thought about me, what I was doing, the choices that I made because I'm a grown man. I pay my own bills. I take care of my own responsibilities. Okay? So I ain't never cared what people thought about me. Nor should you. Especially if you're handling your business. Now, back to the subject at hand. All this time I had people talking junk. Hear people talking crazy, thinking I'm crazy. I got a couple uncles, they get down, they know what's up. Um, they, they they supported me throughout my journey uh, from prepping, becoming a prepper, uh, if you want to call it that, uh, take, taking care of my, my future responsibilities, uh, preparing, putting food to the side, ammo, guns, uh, protection, uh, planning, all right? Been doing this for over 10 years. Now, some of these same people, a lot of these same people, sending me daggone videos, talking about, oh my God, you know, you know, things are coming, things are getting bad, you need to prepare, you need to prepare. Nah, baby, you supposed to start preparing a long time ago. The best time to prepare was 20 years ago, right? second best time is right now that's the truth if it's taking you x amount of time to prepare you need to stop worrying about sharing and you got to start preparing for yourself first thing first this is advice for every single person okay get you some food rice and beans beans and rice canned goods canned goods Right? Uh, canned, canned tuna, canned chicken. All right? 
beans and rice ain't getting no your canned meats they gonna be good eat potted meat get that okay prepare get you some food all right because this is this is how you this is how you gotta think if i if my funds get tight if funds get tight am i going to eat or am i going to pay my bills now if you eat right you eat you're gonna have nowhere to store your food because you're gonna get evicted you're gonna get kicked out the bank gonna take the house or whatever like that's how that's how stuff works now if you go ahead and get your food in times of plenty like joseph was told like they told him in egypt to do right get your get your food right when well, times are plenty you're good you'll have excess for the seven years it's good you prepare seven years are bad you have something to eat next after you get food after you get food get you a fire on legally right if you got to get a gun permit uh in north carolina it's five dollars for a gun, gun permit you can get you a five dollar matter of fact what i would say take you a 20 up there get your four gun permits and buy you four damn guns okay especially if you got multiple people in your house all right a gun for every head two guns for every head whatever get you at least one gun in the house if you can't own a a pistol you can't get your pistol uh permit uh right now go to cabela's or, or 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 Walmart or you know go get you a, a shotgun get your shotgun get you a rifle now these guns are not for you to ride around in your car like you crazy as hell uh and brandishing anytime somebody uh cut you off in traffic these guns are to protect your house your household you need gun you need the gun to protect your food storage, to protect your property, to protect your life. Now, not to say that you shouldn't, shouldn't carry a gun. You should. When I ain't at work, I'm carrying me one. Now, put it like this. After you do that, after you get your gun, well, after you get your food straight, after you get your gun straight, plan contingency plans go over plans with your family if it's a if it's a fire what where y'all gonna go what's going what's what's gonna be the meetup spot what are you gonna do if it's uh everything gets shut down like we living in covid time now let's say everything gets shut down a moment notice we're family meeting up before if we if we all outside of the house where we're gonna meet up before we get back to the house right what's your plan What's your steps? What's next? What's next? Okay? That's what you plan on. You plan on. You find out what's next. Prepare. Order your footsteps. Order your footsteps. Now, this goes without saying because people that know me, they know me. People that don't, I, this is just a bonus. Okay? Above all, have your relationship right with God. Whatever God you serve, whatever you get, however you get down, whatever. You know, I'm a believer in the book, the Bible. So that's what I prescribe to. But get yourself right. Get your relationship with God right. Pray, praise, uh, fast. Get to know God. Listen to God for yourself. Because every person that comes out with a prophecy ain't a prophet. Everybody that had a dream, they, they, they're not oracles. Okay? So what you got to do, what you got to do is prepare and hear, learn to hear God's voice for yourself. Because the time is coming whenever you ain't going to be able to go to church and get your word. You're not going to be able to hear. You might not be able to hear what thus says the Lord from pastor, whoever, whoever. You got to know how to hear God for yourself. So open up that book. Open up the book. Read, pray, meditate, and ask God to send you a word from on high. Because that is what you can put your trust in.
a message that you have deciphered and has come through your spirit that you can discern that has been given to you by God. So be blessed, be positive, be encouraged. Stop being so damn scared because dog cats won't scared. Whenever I was telling you about this stuff five, six, seven, eight, ten years ago. So don't get scared now. Get yourself together. God ain't give you the spirit of fear. So stop being scared. Step your game up. Read. And stop looking at all these dumb videos that everybody's posting. Because some of this stuff is just fear mongering, man. Now granted, there's gonna be some hell that break loose. There is. But don't start living, man. Because there will come a shutdown, shutdown. But you ain't gonna be able to do what it is you like doing or whatever. But until then, hey, you gotta keep pushing. We out here. I love you. This ain't no hate message. This ain't no frustration with people. Because like I said, I don't give a damn what people think about me. Uh, don't care. This is a message for you. Okay? This is a message for you. If you are scared, if you're going through, if things are getting tight, you ain't too sure about what's going to be next, prepare. Prepare. Read the book. Prepare. Buy your food. Prepare. Get you get you get your firearm if it's legal in your area or whatnot. Prepare. Plan. It ain't that hard. It's frustrating. It's stressful to begin with because it's something different. It's over now. We ain't gotta worry about nothing different. We live in a different time. Read, prepare, prepare, prepare. And when stuff hits the fan, you got what you need. So, till next time, be encouraged, be positive, productive. Lights out. Chill!